Starting a model in AutoDesk Robot Structural Analysis has many steps. The first step is making the grid lines. So to make a grid, just press on this icon and start in, uh, inserting your data. For example, let's assume that we have uh, five grid lines on x-axis and the distance between them is five meters and add them. As you notice here we have the numbering we have uh, we can add numbers uh, um, letters and values or we can define a new form that is like uh, numbers and letters like f1 f2 f3 and etc et um, move to y-axis and number of bits let's see let's make it uh, two and the distance between them is uh, is Five, for example so we have three lines and the numbering method is ABC move to z-axis and number of repeats is three for example and this is between them is five meters and numbering is value add then press on apply as you see we have defined a new grid line a, a new grid that we can start modeling upon which that we can start modeling upon it as we see we have the grid lines parallel to x axis and parallel to y axis and to see the lines parallel to z axis all you have all you have to do is pressing on this icon and you see the lines parallel to x to z axis and uh, to add a new grid lines that means assume that you have a building consisting of two or more blocks one of them is in this direction and the second one is in this direction for example so what should we do in order to model that building well the first step is making the grid lines as uh, as a reference for that building so go back to this icon and uh, define a new axis that means press on new and here uh, name it as uh, aligned aligned axis and uh, press on these advanced parameters so Let's assume that this block, this second block, is uh, rotated from starting from this point. So, axis relative to this point. Axis rotation angle, let's assume that is 60 degrees. And about what axis? It's about uh, Z axis. Because rotation. Uh, around x axis will, will occur on x y plane and start modeling uh, start uh, inserting the the coordinates of that uh, grid lines so on x axis the same thing 5 and 5 and numbering like that add on y axis we have number of bits as 2 and the distance this is very important so uh, keep attention pay attention for that the distance we are moving in y axis down in the downward direction that means it's negative minus 5 and the labels ABC and add And on Z axis also we have number of bits as 3 and the distance is 6 because it's not on the negative direction uh, it's 5 not 6 and its value add the impression of pi as you see we have uh, now defined a two grid two grids for that building further point let's assume that we have 
an additional thing here for example it's a an arc or a half a circle that means this grid cannot be used for that uh, kind of uh, of uh, building so what should we do in order to model that building well go to the same point here and instead of Cartesian press on cylindrical and choose the point that we want to draw from that means the center point the center point is this one for example and start number of repeats um, we want two repeats just two repeats for example this one and this one and uh, distance at uh, for example 3 meters and let's let them add uh, as they are numbers and add and another important point is what should be the angle uh, at which the new grid lines should be aligned well if we are standing here at this point we have a horizontal line and the grid line this one number and uh, the line number six is going down at an angle of what of 30 then add here 30 and it's minus number of repeats we want it to be a lot of lines so let's make them 10 and the distance between them because it's a straight angle it's a ha half a circle half a circle is uh, 180 so 180 divided by 10 is 18 add the last thing that we should take into account is the z-axis number of repeats is as in the first grid uh, 3 and distance is 5 then add uh, make it uh, value and add then apply then close it as you see we have added a new grid uh, lines uh, allowing us to modify or to model the building consisting of three blocks well that's it I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it please do not forget to subscribe share and like